CP3 fourth quarter takeover. He had 28 points, 14 in the fourth. And Stephen A., I know you are all in on the Warriors, and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. But this Suns team looks ready and poised to make a run. Yes, they do. Um, I can't deny it. They look, they look big time. Now, that wasn't necessarily the case against New Orleans. But remember, Booker missed about two and a half games yeah. of that series. And New Orleans got some young thoroughbreds with size. Dallas is actually an easier matchup for Phoenix than New Orleans because of the absence of size, athleticism, and quickness that they have on Dallas compared to New Orleans, as far as I'm concerned, Wendy. But let me say this. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Paul was something special. I mean, what a sensational performance he put on last night. It was spectacular. It really, really is. I mean, it 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 actually offset the 30 on 11 for 19 shooting that Devin Booker put up. I mean, Devin Booker came in there when CP3 went to the bench, took his turn, made three straight threes, and that was that. But Chris Paul, the way he manipulates a game, the pace of a game, whoever it is that's defending him, it's something to behold. And to him, and, 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 and Wendy will appreciate and smile with what I'm about to say. When he looked over at the bench and he was staring down the Tim Hardaways of the world, the Lucas of the world who ultimately went to the bench, the Jason Kids of the world and others, okay? It reminded me of years ago when Byron Scott was coaching Chris Paul. And Byron Scott felt like he had gotten screwed over by Jason Kidd. And Chris Paul, the player, had to go against Jason Kidd, the Hall of Fame point guard. And I mean that particular, because I love me some Jason Kidd as a coach and as a player, okay? But that particular series, CP3 destroyed them and was screaming, he can't guard me. This is years ago. Remember that, Wendy? It was years ago. That's not something that CP3 does. But he did it, and it was like, damn, this is a Hall of Fame point guard here, and CP3 is showing no respect whatsoever. But it was really him coming to the defense of Byron Scott at the time. We fast forward to last night, and everybody's raving about Luka because he had 24 in the first half, and we know what Luka can do. You know what CP3 said? Y'all forgetting something. He can't guard. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put him in pick and roll situations where I got Luka on me. They were picking on Luka Doncic. That's what the Phoenix Suns were doing. They were saying, let, who he guarding? And he had the nerve to be on CPC, be like, let me show y'all what I'm going to do to this brother. And as great as Luka is, and my God, he is a great offensive player. He is a great offensive player. He ain't nothing close to great or good defensively. That's an element of his game that even Jason Kidd knows he's got to work on. And CP3 abused him and abused the Dallas Mavericks and looked over at their bench and was like, who the hell y'all, did y'all remember? Who, did y'all forget who the hell you dealing with? And I mean everything. Pull up jumpers, spin moves, dribble drive, penetration. I mean this brother is going to be 37 years of age this Friday. And he is the greatest pure point guard on the planet right now. At age 36, 37. I would advise all NBA players that are having some kind of trouble with their conditioning. I would advise all of them to find out what the hell is going on with CP3. What is he eating? What he drinking? You know, what his rest is like? Whatever, whatever the hell it is he's doing, duplicate it. Because this brother right here at age 37 is not supposed to be doing what he is doing. But he is doing it. And as much as I love Luca, let me tell y'all something. Luca got exposed big time last night because CP3 just put on a show. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.